yes. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to today's Hyper Mountain video. I'm guessing you've all heard of Google Earth, right? Because it's pretty famous now. And Google Earth has shown us a few interesting things, right? Like murder scenes and UFOs from outer space. But what you might not know is that Google Earth also has a flight simulator in it. And that's what we're going to be checking out today. I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, thank you for watching. Okay, so as I said before, we're going to be checking out the Google Earth flight simulator. So this is Google Earth, right? It's pretty cool if you think about it. This is Australia, the best continent there is in the world, in my opinion, because I live here, obviously. Um, yeah, but of obviously what you want to know is the flight simulator. So if you've got Google Earth and you want to use the flight simulator, all you have to do is press Control alt a okay? And if you press that, just like I do right now, it'll come up with this. So it's like this little weird window thing. So you can either choose an F-16 jet, sometimes called the Viper. This jet is able to climb straight up and straight down, and it is very hard to control. And the other plane, which is the easier plane, is the SR-22. It's a high-performance, four-seat propeller aeroplane, so like a beginner's aeroplane for people like me. Um, so you can also choose where you start. So you can start at a current view, so like anywhere where you're looking. And you can also start in an airport, so like an airport from anything on this list. So I'm going to choose to start an airport first off. I think let's start in San Francisco, huh? That sounds nice. And then I'm going to start with the beginner's plane because I am probably going to be terrible at this. And I'm just going to click start flight now. And as you can see, it transports us straight into Google Earth. So what's kind of annoying about this is that there isn't like a cockpit or like a seats or like a, even like a plain third person view you can go in. It just is just this. Um, now the way you control where it goes is with your mouse. Um, as you can see, the background is slowly rendering in. So I'm pretty sure the way you accelerate is by pressing page up. And you'll see in the little icon down the bottom that it, like, it goes up. Like, and I'm moving forward. Yeah, this is a weird um, so as far as I'm concerned, I think you need to get like to a hundred things, things an hour. The little dashboard on the other side is the speed. And all I have to do is push the mouse down and then up I go. I'm officially flying over San Francisco airport. It's actually kind of relaxing. And then I'm pretty sure you can also land again. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> I crashed. Your aircraft has crashed. You can resume your flight or exit the flight simulator. If you choose to resume your flight, your aircraft will be placed in flight above the ground. So I'm going to click resume flight. Whoop. And it just puts you away above San Francisco. So, oh, that's actually a really nice looking airport. I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, I think this is more or less it, in a way. But let's do some little experiments, because it wouldn't be a fun YouTube video without some experimenting. First experiment I want to try. Can I land on the road, on the freeway? Ah, uh, I don't know how to control this very well, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Can I land on a road? Well, I'm just going to crash. Chances are I'm just going to crash. Oh, also, if you press F, your flaps go up. Uh, uh, I'm going to crash so badly. Ah, uh, I've got no idea. I need to land on a road. Come on. Is that a river or a road? I don't... Um, I think that's a road. No, it's a road. It's a road. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna land there anyway. Come on! Let me... Uh, I need to land! What happens if I land on the houses? Do I die? Nope, you just go straight through them. Yes, I'm landing in the middle of suburban San Francisco. Yeah! Touchdown! How do I move? Oh, you, so you can't like drive around while you're in the... Oh, I'm on a road. This is a lovely little terribly rendered video area. Ah, uh, well. Yeah. Alright, so 
Now I want to try and get back up again. So if I press page up, flight speed increases. Oh, I don't know how to turn off the flaps now. Oh, and I'm up again. So that's pretty cool. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually one of the most satisfying flight simulators I've ever done. Like, the only other flight simulators I've really done have been, like, the ones on my iPhone. But, um, this one's actually really satisfying. Even though the quality is terrible and everything. And it's a little bit unrealistic. It's still pretty fun. Oh. I crashed. Alright, so if you guys remember, there was another option in the flight simulator, which was current view. Now, I want to try and start and fly in the middle of New York. Because... I don't know if you can see, but there isn't an airport in New York. So I want to see if I can just fly around New York from the current view option. Alright, let's start flight. <gasps> it worked! That's so cool! I must- oh, I need to increase my speed by a lot. Nosedive, yeah! So, like, my thoughts about this flight simulator, it's very fun. But it's just not, like, it, it's not as entertaining for long. Like, there's no missions, it's just you. So, I don't know. What I mean is if I crash into the Empire State Building. It's the 9-11, but n not, don't take offense to that anyone. Oh, you just flew straight through. <gasps> Barrel rolls! <laughs> That's cool. I'm gonna land in Central Park. <laughs> Oh no, I'm lost. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me. Where's Central Park? There we go. No, turn back, turn back, turn back. Oh, I'm gonna turn flaps up to 100 to slow me down. Oh. Ooh, there we go. And I am officially landing in Central Park. Yeah. Ooh. I crashed, didn't I? That's cool. I died again. Right, so now for another experiment. How high can I go? If I just go straight up. Right? So, up. Oh, I cannot go high at all. Oh, I'm in a stall. As you can see, the little red thing on the side indicates that I'm in a stall. So, I don't exactly know what the where the height indicator is. Oh, I think it's the... Right, so, the little thing on the side, which is highlighted right now on your screen, is um oh, the height indicator, I think. No, I'm slowing down. Yep, I'm going to add a stall at around 6,600. Oh no, I'm still going up. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I can't really go any higher than that. I think I'm stalling too much. And now, how quick can I go if I nosedive? The other side of the screen is the speed. I'm currently at 200... Is that case per hour or miles? I don't know, I'm just going to say it's case. I'm about 300... 320, 330, 340. <gasps> this is so cool. This feels so cool. I'm not gonna lie. This feels so epic. Crash. Ooh! Whoops. So another thing I think will be worth trying is the F-16 now that we are basically professional pilots. This isn't a like Nike logo anymore. This is a professional pilot license. Um, I think it might be, whoops, did I destroy the green screen? Sorry. Um, <laughs> is to try out the jet, because I am very interested in to see how much better it is. So if you remember, last time with the nosedive, we made about almost 350 k's an hour, or 330 I think. Um, so let's see how quick this plane can get. Because the little, th um, the instructions next to it said that it can speed up while it's still going up, so this will be interesting. Well, I am already almost beating the speed that the other plane made. Oh, but it's not taking off. There we go. We are... Sm we just passed the record for the other plane. How, how quick can we go? Whoa. 
This one is harder to control, but it is so much quicker. 400, 400, 500, whoa! I crashed! <laughs> so, um, quick fun fact for you out there who don't know, Google Earth also is Google Mars. Right, this is Mars, it's part of Google Earth. Um, and I'm just wondering, can we fly on Mars with the flight simulator? Yes! We're flying on Mars! Whoop, I have no idea where I am. Yeah, it says I'm about 5,500 feet in the air. Whoop, where am I? I want to go up. Or down, or any direction whatsoever. What? Do I have any control over the aircraft right now? Okay, so it looks like technically we can fly. Oh, yep, I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. Oh. This is harder to control than before. I think it's because there's no gravity on Mars, so that it's a little bit more difficult. <gasps> yes! We are flying into space. Ah. Yeah, look, I can see a little black crater thing in the distance. Barrel roll on Mars. Yeah, this, this is definitely not as fun as this city. I'm going to see, can I crash on Mars? I'm going to be the first human to ever crash a jet onto Mars. And probably the only human to ever crash a jet onto Mars. I am the first human to cra crash a jet into Mars. That is an accomplishment. Oh, I should have just killed myself with the star so that I can see up here. Yeah, so as you can see, it's basically all just this pixelated, mushy, weird background thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, alright, so now let's just try going back to. Well, thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um,. So this is just a little fun video, just us exploring some cool easter eggs in Google Earth. Um, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe, because um, every subscribe means a lot, and every like means a lot, so it's really good for me. And I hope, so, and if you do that, I'll keep trying to provide content for you guys to enjoy. So thank you for watching today's video, and have a great day.